Hey friends, it's been a hot minute since I have filmed a video, but we are going to do a really quick um, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day. This is just like my summer decor. It'll probably stay up most of the summer. Um, home tour. So, so if you're interested in seeing how I've decorated, then just keep watching. This is um, my dining room, and this is like a buffet server um, table, and so whatever you call these things. I don't know why I keep wanting to say credenza, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, this is in our dining room, and I usually decorate it with a tiered tray on either side. So this year, um, I chose my white one that I recently got from Home Goods, I believe, and then um, just got some decor from multiple places. Most of this decor is um, stuff that I've had from the years past. I didn't I didn't really get to get out and get much new stuff this year. I have a few new pieces and I'll definitely let you know um, what the new pieces are and where I got them from when we come across them. So, um, you know, a lot of this stuff is just like reused stuff. So this was actually Easter from Hobby Lobby and I just turned it around um, and just made it work, right? I have some little succulents that I got from Target several years ago. This was a banner of stars from Walmart last year and so I just cut them apart and just kind of used them as filler. This was um, a, that sign was a dollar general sign last year. <clears throat> These items here are actually new and I wasn't planning on leaving them here because it looks a little awkward but when I brought them in from the store that's where they went so that's where they are right now. Um, super cute. I want to say this is the yeah, Pioneer Woman line that they are starting to carry. Um, it's a little more pricey than the past decorations, so I'm a little upset about that, but I still bought them, so I couldn't have been too upset. And then I really liked the way this one turned out, minus this vase. I may have to do something with it. I'm not really digging the, <clears throat> the colors, but this little thing was like on clearance from somewhere last year, maybe Gerbs, honestly. I don't know. Um, and then this little cake stand is from Hobby Lobby a couple years, a couple seasons ago, I should say. And then of course the beads, um, I paint these for every season. So this is my patriotic one. I did it last year. Just a little sign. I have an oil diffuser back there that we turn on. Um, the flowers in here are from Hobby Lobby and Walmart in the years past. And then, um, these were from Walmart, I believe last year. So that is a look at the buffet server and being able to work from home has been a true blessing um so that's one thing that's been exciting that's come out of covid but i can't i don't know if that's even appropriate for me to say so i hope i don't offend anybody by that especially if you've had someone that's been sick um or that you've lost someone I'm not trying to discount that at all <clears throat> i think it was just an opportunity for our employers to see that that you really can work from home and you can be productive still. So anyways, the benefit of that is, you know, not having to get up super early, waste gas, get ready, all that stuff. But the downfall is you have computer equipment, <clears throat> at least I do, all over my house. <clears throat> so we moved the Mac up here for my son when he was finishing up his school. And then in the kitchen, I have my work station set up, which if it becomes a more permanent thing, Definitely gonna have to rearrange because I'm not digging this. This is the centerscape that I came up with this year and I am in love with it. Um, the only thing that I'm going to be searching for when I do a trip to Joanne's is something that will add some like height. Um, these little guys definitely do, but I'm not completely sold on it yet. So table runner, I've had that forever. These stars were from Walmart last year as well as the little ceramic tens. The flowers, um, I got those in just some little um, bushels from Hobby Lobby or Michael's last year. Uh, these little guys are new. Um, these little plaques here, I have one here and I have one down here. And um, it is from Hobby Lobby, so they were not on sale, but I just really thought they were very cute. And I just kind of laid them in there, so where there was one face in each side. And yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So 
And of course the box is something that my husband put together for me. Here's a look at the front porch, and there's my dog Bailey on the inside. <clears throat> this here is just a lantern I got in a couple years ago. Um, that little, it looks like a well kind of thing, well bucket, that was from Hobby Lobby this year. And then this tear tray um, for outside, I got that from decorsteals.com. And I've kind of decided to make it my outdoor one because it's really rough and aged looking anyways. And then that was an old closet door that I had turned into a DIY project. So, And then, um, <laughs> this is real life, so we got new bubble blowers. That's exciting. Um, this has been there since Christmas, and I just love the way it looks. I don't know. It's kind of like a tipped over vase container thing. Um, yeah, so I just kept that there. This is my one of my favorite lanterns. I love them all, but this is like my favorite. And um, inside I just had, gosh, did I get that from Target last year at Christmas maybe? And then this really cute home sweet home sign um, with some greenery. And then these cute little like rain boots were from Joann's and they were on a stick to put in like a floral arrangement. And so I just popped them off the stick and then sat them in there. And I think they look super cute. Um, I wish I would have bought more because I probably would have painted them to have a variety of colors. So, all right. And then on the entryway table, again, I hate this red. So this red is going to get painted soon. I just have to, it won't take any time. I just got to make sure I have enough paint before I get started because I hate having to run to the store. Anyways, so for now, um, of course, I don't know if I've said this in a previous video or not, um, joy is our word of the year, so um, try to find joy in anything and everything that you do. So I'm rocking like I have a baby on my hip. Um, okay, so joy. So I did make this sign. Um, my sister bought me the frame on clearance, and then we just put a piece of wood in there, and then I glued some letters, which is probably why they're not super straight. Um, it's a DIY project. So I decided to go with the lemons in here and the bright yellow because um, I just the pop of color, just super cute. And I didn't have a place to put my lemonade bar because that's where my at home workstation is right now. So, gotta make do. Um, most of the lemon decor is all from last year. So, between Walmart, Target, Amazon, um, and you can definitely check out my lemon bar home tour. Um, I'll try and link it if I remember um, from last year. Anyways, this basket here is new. It's at the Walmart, um, in the Walmart collection. And so I did purchase it. I didn't really know what to do with it after I got it. So I kind of, I kind of like it that way, but it, it also kind of, it looks a little awkward, but it adds the height that I wanted. And then this here, um, super cute sign. Let's see, where did we get it? We got it. I guess that's yeah that's Hobby Lobby so I did pick that up at Hobby Lobby um so it's really big right there but I don't remember when um because it was in with my Christmas decor so I don't know if I got it this year last year I don't know but easy peasy lemon squeezy is something that um one of the kindergarten teachers used to say and it was my son's kindergarten teacher she was the nicest kindergarten teacher super sweet but um when I saw that I thought we had to get that because it reminded me of her and then um course these were from Walmart last year the little signs um, that was from Walmart last year this is um, again a bead of garland that I tend to make quite often I think I make one for like every season um, and then down here just that pop of color that hollow sunshine pillow was from Walmart this year and then I have a um, home pillow behind it and then that is a um, that was from Hobby Lobby too the container I'm pretty sure 
So there's a look at that vignette. I'm um, super happy with how that one turned out. And then I didn't really do anything new here, um, but I did want to show you this is that pillow from Hobby Lobby, and I love it. Um, the Easter Bunny, I wasn't sure if I should put him up or not. He's the Concrete Bunny, and so I feel like he works. You know, there's bunnies all year long. But And then I usually have some blankets in the basket here, but the, they're being washed right now, so yeah. Okay, and then this is my um, centerpiece on our coffee table, which... Again, I don't remember if I showed this. I don't even know what videos I've done and haven't done. I filmed so many, but I never put them out there. I just never have time to edit them. Anyway, so these are adorable little um, flower pots that I had gotten off Amazon. And they're wrapped in like this, like an old newspaper or book, which is just super cute. So easy to make. Um, I just <laughs> haven't had time to do it. So um, I may try and do some stuff like that actually I could do some DIYs um yeah so anyways so this um little arrangement I've just kind of these were from Hobby Lobby I just kind of tipped them over I thought they looked really cute um and then cake stands some greenery most of that stuff is either from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, Walmart those are my go-to some Joann's occasionally um Dollar General so super cute places to look for home decor um I did get this new pillow, which is actually an outdoor pillow, um, my home sweet home, and I got that from Walmart, but love it, and I love that it's an outdoor pillow, so once I get the outdoor decor done, um, I'll throw it out there. And then this is her spot. She loves it. It's about the only time she can find some peace and sleep. Okay, and then over here um, in this little vignette. Um, I was going to actually hang this shelf on the wall, but um, we just painted and I haven't really committed to a lot of wall hangings and stuff yet. So I definitely wanted to um, just see what it looks like. So um, definitely, yeah. So I, I will see what it looks like. But um, I, I love to use like washcloths and um, table runners and stuff like that for actual decor pieces and like filler just different texture I like how these are draped off the sides they have the tassels on them so I think that just adds to it. it's really cute um, so most of this stuff I don't think there's anything new over here all this stuff is like last year and I apologize I know it's, you can't get it but you could totally DIY a sign like that that'd be super easy these they have all the time at home goods and TJ Maxx when they open ours have not opened yet and it's killing me it's killing me because i'm like desperate for some home goods time okay so this is this was my last tier tray i put together so it's totally random and it doesn't necessarily go with anything but i think it looks okay i think that you know it's fun so just added some this floral stuff was like super old my sister used to sell what was called home interiors way back when this came from there as well and um, this little bear down here is home interiors too. But, you know, some of that stuff is timeless. So you just keep it and use it all over. Use it over and over. These were from Target last year. I'm pretty sure. And then the pillow was from Dollar General last year. So, um, I do love my tear trays. I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, and then down there is some DIY pillows with fat quarters. And um, I usually... I usually use those as fillers, but my son likes to haul those in his tractor, so whatever works. And then down here, this is a DIY sign that I made with some picture frames and chicken wire and some signs, some letters from uh, Walmart. Of course, the truck is from Hobby Lobby. The bird cage I had forever, I just, it was black and gold, so I repainted it, and I'm happy with the way that turned out. Okay, and then this little truck was a truck from Walmart several years ago. And I just painted it white um, and aged it. I think it looks really cute. And then I have this tall blue glass that I added a sign to. Looks super cute. And then on this one, um, most of the stuff again last year or stuff I had laying around. These were some bike tassels that you could add onto your bike and they were from Target last year. And then this camper salt and pepper shaker set um, was from Hobby Lobby. So. I think that worked out okay and this tear tray is definitely random um this is a summer one it doesn't really go with anything else but we've got 
some flamingos um, and some bright colors on this one. This was new. This was from Walmart this year. So it turned out okay. And then in my little kickstand, um, these were from Target dollar spot. And so I just put those in there for now. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what I want to put in there. These will go outside with my decor. I did pick these signs up, which I'm super excited about. This was from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little tray. And then these two were from Walmart. Again, that Pioneer Pioneer collection and then, yeah, Pioneer Walmart collection. I thought that was so the Over here, I just kind of kept this all the same. I kind of swapped out some of the flowers and stuff. It's kind of more of a spring design. little chair thing with our today we choose joy that came from Hobby Lobby and then I have my fresh cut flower sign down below which came from Amazon so yeah I have a little one on my hip who says he's tired but not really tired so we're gonna make this fast okay so this little can vignette you, can you do it to me too okay sure so this little vignette over here is um, some more beads that I had put together and then this adorable sign is from Walmart this year, I think. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm struggling with keeping up with where I bought stuff because I didn't really go out a lot. But. And then over in this corner, um, I just have the wood stars and those were from Walmart last year. Um, the little L for Lingy is um, from Hobby Lobby. And then these little pots here were from an Amazon order. And I made this um, and then this was from Kohl's maybe last year gosh I don't remember so that's a look at that and then this little guy usually sits in the center of the oven and I really haven't done much with this because I am just like in love with it but I did add a red and a blue star but I just think this little barn house kind of looking house with this pen wheel um, is that what they're called Windmill. Windmill. <laughs> um, was from Target last year with um, with a silo. and uh, But I just love the way those look. And then this little potted plant was from Walmart. So, And then over here in this vignette, um, I have a DIY um, Jenga, Jenga ladder that I made from Dollar Tree. And then this was from Hobby Lobby last year, I think, or Target. And then again, all this stuff is just from last year. Nothing super exciting. My um, sweet and salty sign fell down from above my cabinet, so I gotta get the ladder out. Not yet. And then this was a clearance item from last year that I picked up. Okay, and then this little bad boy is the infamous shelf from Hobby Lobby, and it was um, a really light wood and um, very white, and so I actually. Um, stained it to kind of make it go with our decor a little more and then this kind of like alternates from this side to that side um, of the kitchen it just kind of depends and then the other thing that I did which I thought was really clever was I took the hinges off and kind of made it um, I don't know if you guys even saw that just now made it to where it just slides it's like so much easier with um, two hands but we will try and make this work with one and so it makes it really easy, a lot easier actually to decorate. So like when you put stuff up, it stays up instead of like, cause before it tilted down, like tilted. And so anyway, so I took the hinges off and then just, and then I just put those hinges back on um, the one piece, not both of them. So then that way it would slide. And then um, again up here, this is all last year's stuff, so. I really apologize. I don't even know if I should be filming one of these, but you know, I don't buy new stuff every year, like all new stuff. You like reincorporate, you know, some existing stuff. This was a DIY project that I had did. I like the way it turned out. So I just reincorporate, um, you know, some of those things. These are the um, towels. And again, I think I got those combination of places last year. So those aren't new. And then, the last thing is, um, I think in there I added 
like another washcloth and then um, some florals that match these florals here and then this new USA sign and that was from Target Dollar Spot this year. And then I think, oh, and then my, he stays in here. He's fun. My little patriotic Santa making the flag and then up there, we have the fireman with the American flag. So those stay, typically stay in there mostly because I forget about this cabinet, but also because they're just cute and we're a very patriotic family. So that works, but. And then down here, I just have another little red truck. Um, again, I don't put too much in here because the kids play with it. I do need to swap out my spring beads with something else. And then the cute little rain boot with some just greenery shoved in there. And that was from um, Target last year. So. All right, guys. I think that will complete the um, areas of my home that <laughs> I'm willing to show right now because it's all chaos. But if you enjoyed the way I decorated, um, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new. I will try and do better at adding more videos. Um, going to do a decorate with me on the porch, I think, and hopefully that one will work out really well. And yeah, so again, thanks for watching. I hope you all are staying safe, um, following the social distancing guidelines, yet still living your life the way you see fit. So anyways. Thank you all. Catch you in the next one. Bye.